love to sneak into my parents' room at night and suck on their tuck. No, 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 no. Hey guys, it's your girl Courtney, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with some special guests that y'all seem to love more than me. So this will be the last time they're on my channel. Today we are going to be exposing y'all's confessions. I told y'all to send your confessions to oopwhatsthetea at gmail.com and y'all definitely did. Over 2,000 confessions. Wow. wow. If you haven't seen my first video where I was reading y'all's confessions, click the link in the description box because it was insane. I ate my dad's boo-boo. <laughs> but anyways, before we get into this video, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming. Wait, did y'all introduce yourselves? Hey y'all, it's me, Doris. Uh, so, um, I have something to say. Mm -hmm. I hurt myself. I just wanted to make it apparent before somebody <laughs> Also, this is Ariane Rose. I'm happy to be here. Like yeah. I say in every video. Yeah. Just happy. Before we get into this video, thank you so much for coming. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being a Reezy. Reezy. My middle name is Reezy. My last name is Reezy. And oh my. you already know me easy peasy. And let's get into the confessions. <laughs> I fantasize about crawling into my lover's veins and holding their body hostage so it belongs to me and me only. Okay, I think that's a bit extreme. You skip giving a hug. You skip the skin. You skip the meat. Mm -hmm. You skip the bones. You skip the blood and you, you just go to the veins. The veins. I have felt like that. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I wanna eat babies. <sighs> you go too far. Exactly. Y'all never want to eat babies? Not eat, but oh, maybe like, their cheeks. Yeah, I just want to eat bunch of cheeks. Them for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's too extreme. But I just want to like bite off their finger. I used to catfish girls and pretend I was a boy and I, oh, I used to do that. <laughs> I catfished this one girl because she was mean to me. So I pretended to be a guy and like- When? In middle school. I pretended to be this guy that went to another school or whatever and she fell in love with him. And I felt really bad. She would talk to my friends about the guy. And I'm just sitting there like. <laughs> oh no, that's evil. I don't recommend doing that though. Please don't do that. I love my boyfriend so much. Barring one major. Barry? 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 Oh, they're definitely British. My name is Chris. Look for the word color. They spell it differently. Or gray. Or banter. <laughs> she just ended the message with later skater. <laughs> that doesn't feel like a British thing. When we go to bed, he only wears a shirt. <laughs> Maybe this is a thing I could get past, even if it is a little weird, but today it hit a new level. <laughs> I had gotten out of bed and was reading in his living room when he came out. He walked by, still in his t-shirt, no boxes, and started dancing. <laughs> Next to me, on me, in front of me for multiple minutes to a song I absolutely hate for unrelated reasons, but now even more. Later, Later skater. skater. That is a man you should keep. That seems adorable. That seems <laughs> <laughs> No, it does seem adorable that no. he's dancing. Kids chill like that, like with just a shirt and a diaper. <laughs> he just never got out of it. Yeah. Maybe you should try telling him. To be honest, I just wear a t-shirt to bed. And she said, Winnie the Pooh, is he big? <laughs> no, 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 no. You know how Winnie yeah. the Pooh, like he's big and then his it's stomach like, kind of hangs out of the <laughs> Is he big? <laughs> Before we finish up the video, I just want y'all to know that this video is sponsored by Two Dots. I'm honestly the type of person that's always playing some type of game on their phone. If I'm bored, if I'm hungry, if I'm if I'm sleeping, I'm playing a game. And recently, I've been playing Two Dots every single day. Basically, Two Dots is a dot connecting game, and I absolutely love that because I feel like it allows me to just relax and unwind, and I just love games where I have to think. Okay, to a certain degree. Not too much thinking, but enough thinking where my brain is just working. And I think something that's really cool about it is that it's not just about connecting dots. They have weekly events like the scavenger hunt which i'm actually participating in right now basically you're just finding items on the map almost like where's wally i've actually partnered with two dots to hide on the map items that represent me in order to get to the scavenger hunt part you have to get to level 13 but if you actually do get to that level let me know if you're able to find my items because it's a challenge i have five different items that i've hidden into the game and they're hidden in different levels of the artistic avenue map so if you can find them let me know because that's gonna be impressive the event is only available from july 20th to august 15th on 3 a.m eastern time you can download the game from the link in my description box and also find my hidden items in the scavenger hunt you can download it on ios and android once again i just really like it to relax i love the design of the game it's very very simple and minimalistic and the music in the game is just relaxing it's zen everything about the game is just relaxing sometimes i need that do y'all see how much energy i have right now once i pull out the game 
That's all you need in this life. Play at your own pace, relax, and enjoy. Download two dots from the link in my description box. It honestly really helps my channel. And also, let me know if you're able to find my items in the scavenger hunt because that is impressive, okay? I'm, here's the crown. <laughs> you got it. Basically, my family, for some reason, has always had insane physical abilities and our strength is immense. So one time I got into a fight and I beat this girl up because she had killed my dog. That, that, was, that was valid, that valid. was valid. She had taken a knife and stabbed Ariana to death. I had beaten her so bad she had to go to the hospital because her nose was broken and lip was busted. And I think she has a lazy eye now. Well, we did take legal action after this happened and I got suspended for a month. I'm like scared of you. A lazy like, eye. Were you trying to kill her? But why did she stab the dog to death? I know. Oh, for what reason? Why is a dog named Ariana? <laughs> <laughs> Aww. That's a human name. That's a human name for real. <laughs> Your dog's name is Romeo. Oh, whatever. <laughs> my uncle once duct taped me and my brother to a table. He also rolled us out to an island in a small-ish lake and left us there. He accidentally tried to kill me once too. I think you need to call the police. Yeah, and therapy. And this uncle needs to be arrested. Yes. How would he leave y'all there, actually? For real. If he was in a boat. He yeah. swam back. He swam back. <laughs> <laughs> and that also is the way that you're sending this entire message and ending it with a little emoji. <laughs> I know. You were almost killed. He duct taped me to a table. What both is happening? Both of y'all to a table. Y'all didn't fight back? Bruh, your yeah. uncle needs help. So um, in kindergarten, I got my butt beat. I had a friend or at least someone I thought was a friend and she always used to slam me against walls and hit me. You were being abused. <laughs> One day outside, she tripped me and grabbed my hand and started pulling me and dragged my butt across the playground. What? You were being bullied! Where did that hurt? The girl knocked my tooth out, <laughs> but you know what? I thought she was my friend after that because she smiled. <laughs> Therapy. Yeah. She no, smiled but, because she's well, happy was, that she whooped your ass. <laughs> I mean, it was kindergarten. No, I feel like I understand because I, I used to be in a position with another friend I used to have and she was really mean to me, but because I didn't want to lose her as a friend, no matter what she did, I would always beg for her forgiveness for some reason. Um, wow. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Yeah. If anyone's watching this right now, please don't let people bully you. Please don't let anyone. <laughs> Read this again, like she used to slam it against the wall. Slam you against the wall and hit you, and you were just like, "Yeah, this is my friend." <laughs> oh, I just want to hug you. Virtual hug. Should I make a Zen garden out of my dad's ashes? Sure, if that's what he wants. Or oh. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> I took a poop in the shower because my sister was taking a poop in the toilet, and I couldn't wait. Where did it go? Ew! Ew. Where'd the poop go? I would presume down the drain. Like she smushed it into the drain. Y'all don't have a bathtub? We do. With the shower head? It's a it's a hole. It's not like oh, yeah. little dots. Either way, it's nasty. Or Why did she even let you in, actually? If she's on the toilet. I know. She was our my mom is a person of color, but is racist. She yells at me, then says I'm making a scene. I'm thinking of bopping her. <laughs> but what should I do? She's 49 turning on 50. I'm 13 turning 14. So yeah. Don't do that. You gonna be kicked out, that. <laughs> <laughs> and the caption is my mom is a Karen. I'm so sorry. But how is she being racist? Because she yells yeah. at you? And making a scene about what? Like, what are you doing? Like, what yeah. specifically has she done that's racist? You haven't even given an example, babe. This one says, I'm gonna go jump off a cliff now. There's this guy I like, right? I've liked him for a few months now, right? And I was texting him last night. Oh my God. And somehow it was an audio recording for 30 seconds and sent to him. So it was just me breathing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. For wow. 30 seconds straight. I'm not even joking. He replied, breathing montage. Aww. I would have just. That's a yeah. cute response though. That is cute. It's like really cute. Oh, I'll be so embarrassed though. And I bet you if you listen to the whole thing. Oh, if he listens to the whole thing, that's nice. I would do that. Even imagine if I was a weird person. Imagine if you breathe ugly though. <laughs> <laughs> One of my friends likes to beat me up. Why is there so many people that are being beat up by their friends? Yeah, it might be just for fun. Okay, well, fun. Fun. But a 200 pound 5'6 boy hitting me actually hurts like crap. Oh. Kicked him in the balls today though. <laughs> a 200 pound boy is beating on you. I want yeah. better for y'all. Y'all have a lot of friends that beat y'all up. I know. <laughs> it's funny because I'm thinking about the video. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I feel like I can never it's escape. It's called the clip. Oh my god. I can never escape that freaking video and okay, I wanna say it again, I was retaliating in that and one. And you clip. weren't even actually punching her, you were just pretending to punch her. So I thought yeah. the punch is Courtney, I mean, like, Courtney, you kind of please have a don't, fragile body. Don't lie. This is your <laughs>
<laughs> like her hits weren't really really hard okay thank you clear my name i wish Please. i had like the other videos there's times where there's I... many other videos no, no 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 listen it doesn't even make you look good so exactly don't get excited. there's times where i'm just casually sitting in my room <laughs> i hear ruckus all of a sudden footsteps to my room screaming oh my god oh my god courtney courtney these are college students i like the way stinky feet smell oh wait xavier's like that what the hell oh he just likes smelling his own feet. I feel like that's me before my bloops. Mm. Yeah. This is a hard working body, you know? Have you ever had a situation where someone walks in, takes off their shoes, and all of yes. a sudden there's, there's an odor that's filling up yes. the room? I love smelling them. I also love to sneak into my parents' room at night and suck on their tuh. This is fake. It no. has to be fake. No, 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 no. You're a dirty person. You're nasty. You're nasty. So tell me your parents don't wake up. Oh my god, they're probably dreaming and they're yes. like, oh, that feels so warm. <laughs> Ew. 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 It's so comforting. But one night I bit my dad so off. Okay. <laughs> Leave. Go. You're the door. He was bleeding and his bone was sticking out. <laughs> I ran out of the room. He did not wake up though. Okay, this is a lie. The next morning he woke up and was rushed to the ER about his broke toe. No one knows it was me who did it to his toe. He now has an amputated toe. <laughs> it was already amputated. You bit it off. He should have died. Okay, this is all a lie. Feet are nasty. Very entertaining. <laughs> when I was a child, before my siblings were born, my mom was washing the dishes and I was alone in my room. So I pooped and then spread my poop across all of my pillows since they were on the floor. I called my mom two times and she didn't answer, then she came. I was three at the time. Honestly, I don't know how you remember this. I don't feel like it's a normal thing for kids to like do that type of stuff. It's not food. normal. Where's the pamper? The diaper? Uh-uh. I was pissing and my aim was wrong, but I didn't notice. So the piss spilled all over the floor into a puddle and my clothes got wet. And I never told anyone. I hope they didn't find out because I cleaned it. At least you cleaned it. So you didn't hear the... That's yeah, like, kind of how, how did you not hear? How did you not see? Aren't they <laughs> looking down when they aim it? Like, they just... <laughs> no. Oh, my God. When I was five years old, I went to Milan with my family, and a kid threw some bread at me, and all the pigeons literally attacked me. I'm still afraid of pigeons. I would not recover from that. I don't even like birds. That's oh traumatizing. God, I hate them. You, you know, like, when you go to, like, the store, and there's a bunch of birds in the parking lot? Mm -hmm. I can't do it. There was a time I went to a Kroger, I walked out, there was a whole gang, <laughs> a, a gang of birds. That's so scary. Mm -hmm. I That's hate so the big ones that be at the beach. Yes. The big, they're not scared of people. <laughs> Why does somebody feel so bad? <laughs> My mom thinks my dad is gay because she got an investigator to spy on my dad while work and her investigator's proof was photoshopped. She's been mad at me since April 2021 20, till now because I know it's photoshopped clearly. I don't get Your it. Your mom made too many mistakes. There's some some su suspicion going on because yeah. the mom is already suspecting something. Yes. Mm -hmm. Obviously you didn't go out of your way to get a good investigator because why would they photoshop a photo of him? Why would they photoshop? <laughs> Where did she hire this investigator? And why is she mad at you? <gasps> read it, I haven't read it yet. Yeah. Basically, there's this one racist teacher who insulted some dark-skinned guy. She said, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna fry you and your skin is gonna become darker than it already is. Oh my gosh. Then some unicorn fan girly decided to use the punchline against him and he went bonkers on her white ass. He went bonkers on her white ass. And she deserved that. She deserved that. The thing I don't understand about racist people is how do you expect to say some stuff like that to somebody? And think nothing's gonna happen. And think nothing's gonna happen. Especially a teacher. Yeah. You're fired. She's okay. been <laughs> thinking that. She was prepared to say that line. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fry you? What? Mm -hmm. And that's all the confessions for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun filming this video. Some of you guys are sick. But it's like, I like sick and twisted. It kind of gets me excited. Oh, don't put that in. Just kidding, put it in. And I feel like some of y'all have lives that should be in a movie. Literally. <laughs> a girl literally got her teeth knocked out. And you still thought the girl was your friend. <laughs> I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to follow me on all my social media and check out their channels. It'll be in the description box. I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love you and peace. <laughs>